Okay, so we're going to model today the Sveti Duh Church in Chernomil, Slovenia. So we're going to start, we'll just look at some reference images I already prepared for the facade, the side view, top view. And we got some top view with some details and measurements. All these uh, files I've put already in the source images for the project and we will have it also in online later on for people to try. So. First thing we got to do is we're going to start importing those images as image planes, so free image plane. I'll do control A to get the attributes and I'll connect the Just one second, my project is not set correctly, so I'll do this again. File set project Okay, now I'm in the right project, so therefore it should work. Okay, top view. I connected the top view. I will just need to rotate it now. 90 degrees. And I can just see here the dial. And then I will just enter another image pl plane. Same thing, control A. And connect the side view. Now I just need to make sure when I look at the four views the top looks fine, the side is wrong and here we go. So the side should be here also 90 and I should see it here and now we're just missing the front and back. So I will also create another free image plane and connect the textures for front and back. So we got all the three reference images and now we just need to align them together. So let's start maybe in perspective. We'll move this. So the side view should be And I see already it's not aligned. I will need to rotate my top view. And I'll also hide the grid for now just to see. And the top view, if I look at it here, this is the rounded part. So it should be turned this way. I'll just turn here on one axis. And I will just look here at... So I think now we should be pretty okay okay now we'll have to align the heights so I'm gonna zero them all in by their floor level which in this case is here and that would go oops wrong image So somewhere there, I will have to do this. Like, okay. Front view, same thing. Now both of them are a bit different. I will start actually with the chapel in the back, so this will be our main view. We will use this for both sides. And this should be also on the zero mark. I can use the X to snap it to the grid actually, it would be the easiest. Last thing, I just want to check that they are aligned, they should be. I should put kind of guides and markers, but I think we are a bit scaled up. Back measurement, so yeah, now we have it. The depth of it doesn't matter, I just put them here to just visualize them all together and now I will put them back 
another important thing to do in this case is to after we are happy with how we place the objects is to lock them in the display layer so we won't change it uh, so I will just shift select all the objects all three of the image planes layer create layer from selected double click it and call it image refs and I will just make it now as a give it a color as well and I will make it as a reference okay now I cannot touch it or select it so we should be able to start with this I'm going to start by going to my polygons and we'll create a cube and I'll just from the top view first of all just align it I'm maybe not so happy with the alignment of this doesn't matter for now okay I'm gonna just take it into the back I'm zooming in and I'll start just by pressing 4 so I can see the vertices and just move those out of the way to get the real shape. When I'm selecting from top view I'm selecting both bottom and up. So I'm just trying to define the general shape and I will pull all this all the way to the building. Okay. Here we go. Now this side I already see I need to shrink it into here. There's a bit of an angle. Okay. Same thing I would do first with the height. I don't see them and this is a bit bothering me, so I will just change this one to here. Yeah, sorry, wrong place. Okay, now I can see this one. And I can just align the height, and I already see that it's not perfectly aligned. If I will look at this point, we don't have the same ground, so I'll need to adjust this. But let's take this to the ground level. The images are not obviously. Perfect. Okay, and should be more. Let's leave it as it is. I just need to align the two items. Okay. Next step, we're just going to insert some edge loops to do this little turn. So, <coughs> mesh tools insert edge loop. And I'm just going to click on this edge here and try to align it with where the building is ending up. Oh, maybe I went too far. We'll change this. And all those things will be changed. We're just trying to get the general shape for now. I could use the mesh tools <coughs> slide edge tool. get a bit more exact. I am in perspective which is not usually a good way. Let's say this is good enough for us. I'm just going to take the face now and with the modeling toolkit I'm going to create an extrude and reach all the way out to the next point and I will still need to correct it and I'm going to just do that from the top view. and just move to my vertices and I see this point needs to be corrected and these two also pushed more in so yeah this is should be it next I'm gonna just 
extrude another this face I'm gonna pull it out all the way and just shrink the sides to get this edges and again I should look at it from top view and using the vertices I could correct it to the blueprints okay now I'm yet not yet trying to be very exact uh, just to get the rough shape cool so we got the first side now I would want to start working on the windows because here on each side there's a window and I can see them in this uh, front view and this image I put it in the wrong place so I will just create those arches and the windows I could go about with cutting them through or I can start with a new object and work with that so I will start actually with a polygon cylinder and we'll rotate it so let's go maybe to perspective so we see our object I will first in the poly cylinder I will just change the caps to zero it will just be a lot easier to see and divisions to 12 I'm gonna create a rotate, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And I will push it. We are actually working backwards here, but this is okay. So what I can do before I do that, maybe I will just erase some parts, it'll be easier to work. So I'm gonna just delete now these faces the caps and I will delete half of the cylinder so I should end up with something like this and now in the front view I will just align it to the first window which I think is the most accurate 90 degrees not the curved one this we will just duplicate later and I will try to get this arch or similar Wait, maybe. I could have added more divisions to make it look more smooth but we are keeping it on low poly for now and now we'll just correct this I'm just using the scale tool to get them a bit more aligned since it's I will now just pick up these two edges, uh, this one and this one, and I will go back to this view easier and I will extrude them out. So modeling toolkit, extruding the edges this time all the way to the bottom. And then I will also do another extrude into each other if we look at it in the perspective it might be easier to see I'm just getting them as close as I can and then I will just use the target weld tool to stitch so this vertex to here or this I could have also merged the vertices or however I also don't really need this edge so I will just select it and mesh to uh, edit mesh delete edge vertex or control down. Okay, so now we got this window and it should be aligned correctly. We'll just position it in the building and we'll 
adjust this more later so in any case I am selecting these two and and do a boolean so I cut the whole shape out I can later on readjust this I will meanwhile also delete all these faces that are remaining I'm double clicking to get a row together and delete this out another thing I should do if I want to have it cut a bit better is to start stitching those loose points like to repeat this for all three sides what I can do is just select these faces okay and mesh duplicate face once I do that and I will also rotate it Center pivot. So I'm just going to align it where the next window is okay. now what I can do is just in this case this face and then I will combine these two meshes and with the modeling toolkit I can target weld these points to there okay and we have the second one and the same procedure this time I will take this one because it's already rotated pretty much correct. So the same story, edit mesh, duplicate faces. <coughs> 